This video, we're gonna be talking about bust down watches. Has the iced out trend finally started to melt? This video is sponsored by Ferrari of Fort Lauderdale. They are the largest Ferrari dealership in the nation. So whether you're looking to purchase your first Ferrari or join the Ferrari Challenge team, contact them today or their sister location, Ferrari of Long Island, in the link below. So bust down watches or iced out watches, however it is that you like to call it, have been very popular for the last 20 years, or maybe better yet, maybe like 15. However, there's been a history throughout this trend and I'm gonna go over first on how it started and where we are at right now. So in the beginning, there was only 36 millimeter presidentials iced out. These go back all the way to No Limit with Master P all the way to Birdman and the whole Cash Money squad. That's what really started off with the bust down watches. So after the 36 millimeter Prezi's, the next phase was when people wanted the watches bigger. It went to a complete different opposite from the small 36 to these large case 48 millimeters, Breitling Super Avengers and Frank Mueller's. Even then, they had aftermarket bands back then for those Super Avengers to make them as rocky as possible. Now, I'm not gonna lie, they looked pretty good in those rap videos back then. I mean, it wasn't my favorite watch in any way, shape, or form, but that's when the real flooding of the watches occurred. After that, the next trend right after that was stainless steel 42 millimeter offshores. That's when they really started to break out and say, wow, wait a minute. Now they're starting to ice out really fine watches. You know, it was a little bit ballsy and brave at that moment to get a stainless steel AP42, drill holes in it and ice it out. Now, these trends go through a wave and they go getting bigger and bigger to the top of the wave. Right after that, they said, hey, presidentials, 41 millimeters. Those were the next ones that started getting drilled out and all iced out. Let's not forget the Yacht Masters. With their size, also became a very popular watch to ice out in that time. So now comes a part when things really started to get crazy. From there, the ice style phase started moving into the 41 millimeter AP, both chrono, non-chrono, both steel and gold. And that's when I really started to worry and I said, what are they gonna do next? They're gonna start busting down Pateks? Sure enough, Patek Nautiluses everywhere started to get bust down. That's when it really started to get crazy in my opinion. And I think at the end, it's still gonna be the height of this whole trend. Wasn't long after that till someone finally did a Richard Mill in rose gold and then followed by one in titanium. Now, one thing I wanna point out too is that this is what I call the first stage of this whole trend because all of these watches were iced out with a traditional fashion where all the diamonds are in rows, all in rows. Then comes and to the flower. Now you hear this all the time, whether they call it flower or honeycomb or whatever name they wanna put it. Pretty much what happens is these diamond setters then started using a new style of setting, which is pretty much pave, where what happens is there's less metal, more diamonds. Everything is more close together. Instead of being these rows where it used to be before, which were more like symmetrical rows, they started flooding the area with as many diamonds as possible. This Patek that I have here actually has that flower honeycomb structure. That completely changed the whole game because then it started all over again, back from the Prezi all the way to the RM that we just discussed, but now with flower and honeycomb. So everyone started trading in their traditional old settings for the new flower settings, so on and so forth, which then leads us to where we are now. So like any trend, it starts escalating and escalating. It started off first with traditional settings, then it moved to flower settings, which leads us to where we are now. Enter the baguettes, or like Khaled says, the chandeliers, or whatever you wanna call them. Now we're in the new wave of baguettes everything. Doesn't matter if it's the watches or the grills. I mean, these guys, everybody wants baguettes. It's the newest phase in the trend. Which leads me to believe now, have we gotten to the final stage in this trend where things will perhaps melt? It's tough to say. The one thing that I could tell you is the older style traditional settings are becoming a little bit harder to sell and people don't want them. 
However, it is a perfect opportunity for somebody that wants to pick up a diamond dial watch at a really good price. Traditional setting will be right for you, which let's face it, not everybody knows these differences. And in the club, the watch is still going to look like a million dollars. So the question is, now with the baguettes being out and reigning supreme, is the ice age over? I mean, it's tough to know. I would say that right now the baguettes are booming and we're gonna have to wait and see what happens with these watches. I mean, some of the work that these guys are coming up with is pretty much incredible. Have you looked at those RMs, full blown baguettes? I mean, I don't know who's the one that's sitting there and actually making these, but I've seen a couple in person and the craftsmanship is incredible. So that being said, I feel like nowadays the latest trend has been very much separated. Now it goes from either all out baguettes or plain Jane, something like this. As of now, the baguette game is super strong. It flashes like hell and we'll have to see what happens. I mean, I just don't see where else this could go from here. So it's safe to say it's not going anywhere. People are always gonna wanna stand out and be extra flashy. The question that I wanted to raise is, is that now that we've gone to that top of the wave being the baguettes, where does it go from there? Maybe there's a whole new fancy new setting that we haven't seen for baguettes perhaps. But we'll have to wait and see. I mean, overall, people want to stand out and they always want something different. So feel free to comment below how you feel about the ice age and if it's still going strong. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell till it looks like this. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric, this is Watcher Style.